Okay guys, a little disclaimer before I start this Shalike review. This is going to be my personal opinion on this Shalike figure. If you disagree or agree with any of the points I raise in this video, it is completely fine. I would love to have a debate in the comments. So let's have a debate in the comments. Do you agree with my points or disagree? Let me know. Because honestly, it doesn't matter. This is just my personal opinion. Your opinion, it can be completely different or a little bit similar. That's all I'm going to say. So enjoy the review, guys. Hey, guys, it's Chloe here. And today I am going to be finishing the week off with a review of the Hanovian Mare. The Shalike Hanovian Mare, to be precise. So I haven't done a Shalike review in a while. And I figured this is going to be the next one I'm going to review. So I've wrote down some points on my computer, so if you see me looking down at my computer, I have wrote down some notes um, of what I like about this figure and what I don't like about this figure. Um, I just think it will help me a lot better. So, since we have less dislikes, let's get all the dislikes out of the way, because I really like this figure. It's beautiful. I mean, look at her. She's gorgeous. So, some dislikes I have... Um, noticed on her is the mane um i'm not really a huge fan of this mane i mean it seems to just um blend in really like if you hold if i held this from a distance it looked like she doesn't have a mane but you have to get really close and then you see the texture and then you can see oh she does have a mane so i think a way if they were going to improve this figure or if i could improve this figure a bit I would possibly make the tail and the mane a slightly different shade of brown just so they are a bit they stand out a bit more and they're a bit more noticeable but yeah like I said this is just a little nitty pick thing also it is very short so it is very you know can hardly see it whereas on other horses you can kind of see their mane a bit more but I believe that it's nice. It's nice that she's got a short mane and it's not like all the other horses and they've got a nice long flowy mane. I mean, it's nice, it's short, it's tidy, but I just prefer it to stand out a little bit more just so it's, I can see it's there and I don't have to be like, hello, where's the mane? <laughs> so yeah, uh, another dislike is the facial details. So here we are, are really nice, I love them. Um, only problem is they seem to fade away with age like I haven't had her very long I've probably had her a year this Hanovian made uh, Hanovian <laughs> mare and the white is starting to fade away um, a lot quicker than a lot of my older like horses so that's kind of a bit of a downer because I do like her facial details it, it stands out and I'm just like ah oh, that's the Hanovian mare and stuff like that but other than that, she is a lovely figure. So let's get to the likes, the positive parts of this figure. So I love the way it appears to be um, walking. And this, for me, is great because I take photos, as a lot of you guys know, of my Shalike figures. So I can position her and she's amazing. I mean, look, I can position her and make her look like she's walking away from me or she's walking at a at an angle towards the camera and I'm now going to show you through an array of images which I took today so I hope you enjoy <laughs> the photos um now let's focus a bit more on the positive points of this figure so i love this figure it's beautiful and i love the detailing on her body what i mean about that is the wrinkles here that she has on her body and the folds on her it makes her stand out and it makes her look a lot more realistic so i really like that in the Schleich figures and um as you'll probably notice when I start reviewing more of the recent up-to-date Schleich figures, you know, the reviews start to go down, you know. 
I love this. I mean, her. She, you can see the muscle and the tone on her, and it's beautiful, and I love it. And I like the fact they've used a slightly bit of a darker brown just to show, like, a fold in her body or, you know, where the light is actually shining, which is amazing. So, well done, she like, that's beautiful. Um, also, I love the balance of this figure. It is amazing. She can stand, I kid you not, on multiple surfaces, and she doesn't fall over. She doesn't need to lean against something to keep her look like she's standing up. Honestly, she can stand on carpet, rock, um, grass, any soft surface and stuff like that. And she's still, you know, standing. And it's amazing. I mean, yes, she does fall over on some surfaces. But on pretty much all the surfaces I've put her on, like rock and carpet and really all other soft, you know, things like that. She hasn't fell over, she stayed stood up, and I think that's down to the way her legs have been positioned. So she's got that balance. So she doesn't lean one way too much or another way another much too much, which is amazing. And I really like that in a Schleich figure. I don't like having to constantly, if I'm trying to take photos, and then it falls over, and I have to keep repositioning it or standing it up again. That's kind of a bit of annoying, but with the Havanovian mare, I don't have to worry about that because she can just stand and it's amazing and I don't have to you know and she won't just fall over when I'm randomly doing something or you know if she gets knocked over then yeah also um she like figures have the writing on them as you can see what I like about the Hanovian mare's writing is it's not noticeable it's visible you know it's there but it doesn't ruin the figure like a lot of shalike figures, they have the shalike writing on it and it tends to ruin the figure because it's noticeable and you can see it on there. But the Hathenovian mate, you can hardly make out it's there, which is amazing. So shalike should really do that with a lot more of the other figures because honestly, yeah, you know, you want to have the writing on there, you know, because it's just a shalike figure. They've always done that with their figures. And, you know, that's how you can tell it's a genuine one. But... You don't want it to be in your face because if you're after like realism like I use these figures for you don't want them to have like shall I, 2013 or something on them <laughs> or visible on them you want it to be there but you don't want it to be in your face and that's what I love about this um, the writing on this mare it's not in your face it's there but it's sort of in the background which is amazing and the final good point is she has very clear detailing on this figure um, it's very visible so like you can see her hoof and then the horseshoe is very clearly detailed I love that and also like the way her leg is you can see like the muscles or the tendons almost in her leg and like here's her bone it's amazing I love the fact that they've gone into great depth with the detailing of this it's not just a horse figure they've put detailing into it to make it real and i love it so now we're going to go on to what i would mark it out of 10. okay guys so that is my review over all that's left for me to do is to give it a score out of 10 and explain my reasoning for that score now personally i love this figure it's beautiful and I'm giving this a pretty nice score of a 7 out of 10. The um, reason it's not a full 10 out of 10 is I feel that the mane was slightly too short, so short that you can not hardly notice it. And I do feel that she like played it safe with the colouring of the mane and the tail. I mean, it blends in with the body a little bit too well. I'd have preferred it to be a slightly darker colour. Just so you could notice that it has a mane and a tail, you know, like the mane just seems to, and the tail just seems to just, you know, they're in place. But other than that, I really love this figure and I fully recommend you buy it for your little ones or as part of your collection. Because honestly, if you are a parent watching this and your child has asked for this for Christmas, it is a beautiful figure. Yes, it the colourings and stuff do fade with time but so do a lot of other Shalike figures and the fact that it can stand on multiple surfaces 
without trouble is amazing. I mean, if your kid's playing with it on a carpet or on a wooden floor, you know, it's not going to have any trouble with the horse, you know, falling over every time, you know, and it makes playtime a lot more enjoyable, in my opinion. Um, so, yeah, if you want to add the Hanoverian mare to your collection or, you know, you've got a different opinion or a different score, let me know in the comments, guys, honestly. Um, like I said, this is just my personal opinion. It isn't, you know, an opinion of everyone who buys this figure. You may completely disagree. You may think it's a 0 out of 10. It's a terrible figure. It's da 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 You may think it's the best shalike figure ever. Let me know your thoughts down below, guys. If your thoughts are different to mine, I would really like to hear it. You know, I'd really like to hear how your Hanovian mare has, you know, affected your collection. Has it been a good addition or a bad addition? Let me know in the comments. So, yeah, I hope you guys have enjoyed this review of the Shalik Hanovian mare. If you have, leave a thumbs up, because that'd be awesome. Leave your comments down below. Feel free to disagree with me, because that'd be awesome. You know, maybe you are a little bit like, it isn't that great of a figure, you know, or it's amazing. Why is it not 10 out of 10, you know? Let me know down below. And of course, don't forget to hit that subscribe button because that would be awesome. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll see all you beautiful people Monday with another video. Bye guys.